What's going on, everybody? It's Sunday, January 14th, and we have kicked the New Year's land sales off to a great start. Closed uh, three cash sale transactions so far, one for 20,000. That was 20 acres in Ward County. Uh, we did 25,000 for a 10-ish acre lot in Andrews County subdivide, just kind of wholesaled it. And uh, we got one under contract right now for 35,000 out near Pecos. It was part of my seven lot uh, subdivision that I did in Reeves County. And that subdivision has killed it. Uh, there was seven lots and they all sold in, uh, it was about a month and a half. It would have been a month, but a guy backed out of the deal. Ended up working out because I got three cash sales out of that uh, subdivision. And it's got me thinking uh, as we go into 2024 here, what I really want to do to uh, jumpstart the year is kind of a wholesale fire sale subdivision called a fire sale subdivide. Uh, I'm out negotiating now for a large 640 acre section in Texas. It's an entire section. It's a mile square of land, uh, which is 640 acres. The plan is to buy it at about 1000 per acre and subdivide it down to basically 60 to 64 10 acre lots and sell those all off for anywhere for 2,000 to 3,000 uh, per acre, probably average in at about 2,500 per acre. So, you know, hopefully the goal here is to make 1,000 to 1,500 per acre at 640 acres. You're looking at 600 to $900,000 profits on this one project. Now, Projects like these are hard to come by, I think, because it's very rare that you can match up the arbitrage on the sales side versus the buy side, right? A market that can absorb 60, call it 60 10 acre lots and a buy side where you can actually buy that affordably and turn around and sell it. And I don't know that this sales process is going to be as seamless as I'm thinking it will be, if I'm being honest. Um, I do think that we could pull this off in three to six months, but we're going to hit it extremely hard. I'm setting up a dedicated website, which is one thing that I think is a great idea for a subdivision is kind of just a dedicated landing page. Um, call it XYZ 10 acre lots.com fill XYZ in with location or project name or whatever. 10 acre lots.com boom route them to a landing page what we're going to do is hit the local towns with banded signs and flyers we're also going to be doing facebook ads we'll get it up on a paper list mls listing so we're going to just hit it from all angles and try to get these lots sold in a very quick amount of time and the goal is is to just have a huge cash infusion you know hopefully seven hundred fifty thousand bucks uh for bigger projects into 2024 this is something that I've never really done before. Well, I take that back. I kind of did this on the seven lot subdivide I just did um, near Pecos, Texas. And also kind of thinking back to like my first subdivision, the huge one out in Hudspeth County, 534 acres, kind of did the, the, the same thing there. And wondering why I haven't done uh, more of this. I've been obsessed with um, carrying notes and kind of maximizing uh, each subdivision and kind of squeezing all the juice out of it, so to speak. But on this one, we're going to try something different. And it's important to note that if if you control the sales price on, on your sales side, you can really increase the velocity of your land sales. Obviously, if you offer something, in this case, in the market uh, that is so below market value, you can really make lots move quickly. You know, I'm pulling comps in this area over the last one to two years, the cheapest thing that has sold for 10 acres is 4,200 per acre with most of them selling at five to six K per acre. So if I come in at 2,500 per acre, which is literally like half off everything else that is sold in that area, I can really make it move quickly and offer my buyers a great discount. Now you're saying, well, why not just maximize the value and sell them for three, four thousand per acre on the sales side? So you're talking thirty or forty thousand for ten acre lots. Well, I could, but the project is going to take a lot longer, six to twelve months, and so it's wa it's kind of walking that fine line of money versus time and speed and your IRR. Never forget that the the quicker you can sell these pieces, 
the higher your IRR is going to be and the quicker you can go deploy that capital into other projects. So for me, someone who's really looking to scale in 2024, I'm actively looking to offload uh, more notes to raise capital. I'm actively looking at probably three or four giant projects that are going to require more capital. So if I have too much capital, then yes, I would be looking to maximize value, probably originate some notes, create some interest income for myself, payments over time. But if I was in a capital crunch and wanted to accelerate the business and do more deals, then I'd be looking to inject more capital. So perhaps sell land more quickly, lower price, still make a good profit and offload some notes. So it's kind of that fine line of, do you need capital or do you need, um, or do you have deals or need deals? I mean, if you don't have any deal flow and you know aren't in a big crunch for capital, then for sure, originate a crap ton of notes and um, rake in the notes receivable and monthly payments, which I'm a huge proponent of anyways. I love the monthly cash flow, uh, but this is kind of a almost an experiment that I'm trying to see if we can really just create a ton of velocity and move some land quick and inject a bunch of capital into the business. So trying to really ramp up 2024, create a bunch of sales, create a bunch of cash to go do uh, bigger projects. Along that note, um, listing a beautiful 3,200 square foot custom built home. Uh, this is the first time in a long time that I've used a realtor. So we have that transaction going. Interested to see how this goes because this is the first subdivision where I've really done a um, house carve out in the middle of it. So this house sits on 19 acres. Y'all, if you've been following along, this is the Midland County subdivision. It's 150 acres and the house sits on 19 in the middle. And there's little to no restrictions on the land around it. So we have a situation where it's a beautiful custom built home on 19 acres in the middle of a subdivision with basically 62 acre lots around it with the restrictions are no commercial shooting ranges and no junkyards. So, you know, you, you could have mobile homes, RVs, some light commercial, livestock, all that stuff around a big, beautiful, custom built home. Um, so just really interested to see how this one turns out. The interesting thing about it though is I'm not worried because even if I, worst case, had to like fire sale the house, or let's just say like worst case, the house won't even sell. Like we need to sell it as is for the land, the 19 acres, or do some sort of replat and just sell that 19 acres as two or three acre lots, even if we had to like freaking bulldoze the house, which would never happen. But let's say we just had to bulldoze the house and just land pure land value alone at, you know, 15 to 20 K per acre times 150 acres. That's, you know, two, two and a half million bucks. And we bought it for 1.1 million after improvements were into it for about 1.4. So can't lose any money on this project, but again, it is a good experiment and not enough people, I think, are experimenting in this business. They just find what works and stick to it, which, you know, is a good way if you find your niche and, you know, you're making 100, 200, 500 grand per year and you're fine with that and you just stay in your lane. Sure. I mean, you can replicate that. But if you want to grow and scale, you always need to be experimenting, figuring out what, what works and then implementing more and more resources into that to to scale. So exciting times here 2024 has been off to a great start multiple subdivisions in the works working on um, a massive project as well it's in the beginning phases but is looking really promising it's a probably a 15 million dollar deal buy for four million water infrastructure road infrastructure probably improvements all in at six million and uh creating 200 plus lots that are worth probably 15 million dollars in Texas. So this is, you know, a monster project that would be the biggest one that I have ever done, honestly. And there's a lot that goes into it. It'd be, uh, you know, raising money, massive infrastructure upgrades, water lines, roads, power lines, uh, working with county officials, the whole nine yards. But if you want to scale, take to the next level, this is what you need to do. And the, the good news is, as you get to even this um, wholesale fire sale subdivision uh, project I'm doing, and you know the Midland County project and this massive project, as you get to that level, there is a lot less competition, right? You have all these people down at the kind of beginner, intermediate entry level doing K 
cash flips for land, sending out direct mail, SMS, cold calling, uh, getting all these one-off lots, that that's kind of intermediate to entry level, lower level stuff. And as you step up to the large subdivisions, putting in water lines, infrastructure, et cetera, um, even without the entitling and engineering component, there is a lot less competition. And I think that's where I want to be. That's where everyone should want to be. Less competition, more money, more scale. And it's actually kind of easier. <laughs> it's, I don't know if it's easier. It's, it's probably the same amount of work and efforts and complicated processes, complications, so to speak, as the lower level deals, the higher level deals. I mean, if you're gonna spend time and energy on a land deal, might as well go big, right? That's where I'm at. Um, Cornutus is coming along well. We're almost ready to open that. Really kind of nervous now as we get to the operational component of that project, so we will see how that goes. Just a couple weeks into the new year here, and I uh, hope y'all are doing well, had a good holiday season, and be focusing on scaling, growing, and learning new things as we get 2024 kicked off in a big, massive way.